So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with a very special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now before we get started I just want to apologise if I end up rambling during this video. This has pretty much only just happened in the last hour or so. I'm still kind of shaky and I'm honestly in disbelief that this has ended up happening. So yeah if I end up rambling during this video I do apologise but I'm still just so incredibly excited. So we're starting off here and you can see that I have just shot a level five moose with a really good estimate minimum estimate of 270 so i was pretty confident this guy was actually going to be a nice size diamond and i was basically just here on medved to shoot some moose because basically i've been having a bit of a struggle with multiplayer and crashing and lots of bugs and issues that i've been encountering which you may have heard me talk about if you saw my previous video so I figured today that I'd come out to Medved and just shoot a few moose because I still didn't have a moose great one and you know why not come and shoot some moose in single player if multiplayer is giving me so many issues. Who knows what could happen I could get a few nice diamonds and rares and it might be just a nice change from all the crashing issues I've been having. So I was really happy to end up finding a level 5. I ended up shooting some more moose carrying on with this first run of the day ended up finding a guaranteed diamond level 4 with a huge minimum estimate of 281. So here I am about to take a shot and I was going to line up to try and take the level 3 as well. Unfortunately I didn't get the shot I wanted as he did start to turn there and didn't give me the broadside shot I was hoping for but I did actually manage to get the big level 4 down on the ground and I was really happy about that and sure enough he is another diamond at 282.63. So just above that minimum estimate but still really happy and to see a guaranteed diamond level 4 I was super happy about that two diamonds in the first run of the day really really happy about that and I was like okay really nice to see at least some big moves showing up then I started the next run and I see this oh my god 10 fables great one moose here on medved Finally, after thousands and thousands and thousands of kills, finally a great one. And you can see here this this clip of me just I spotted it, and then I just kept standing there because I was I was honestly hyperventilating, <laughs> I was shaking. This has been such a long grind. I have been after a great one moose for months since they released. I have grinded so hard trying to get a great one moose, and it has honestly been such a tough grind. Honestly, it has been really, really hard going. And honestly, I had gotten to the point where I was just sure that I was never going to get a great one moose, and. I basically had figured that my only real chance that I was ever going to get one was maybe if I ever got lucky enough to see one in multiplayer. So to see this on the second run of the day, just, just after I'd done the first run, this was like one of the first spots I checked in the, the start of the next run after the first run. I, I just, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I just panicked. I, I saw the huge typical paddle that was the first thing i saw i just saw how tall that paddle was and i was just like there's no way that's a great one that's a great one and not only is he a great one he is an uneven great one he's got the big typical paddle on one side and the big non-typical rack on the other that is a wild looking combination and he's the fabled oak fur type I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I still can't believe this has just happened. I have been shaking and panicking. It took me so long to get, you know, composure to be able to actually shoot him. So if we're talking about numbers on this grind, I estimate that I was between 7.7 .7 and 8,000 kills. Now, I say between 7.7 .7 and 8,000 because I like to just give a little bit of room because, you know, shooting other animals and stuff and because I have been going between different maps and, you know, there's been times where I've taken breaks and stuff. But I'm pretty sure that at minimum we're talking 7.7 thousand kills. And I've had no super rares or anything like that along the way. It's I've had 42 diamonds, I believe, if I'm counting up all my, uh, my uh, notes correctly. And a lot of rares and a lot of trolls. And finally, <laughs> a great one, Moose. I honestly cannot believe it. Out here on the coast, 
he finally spawned and it's just this wild looking moose my favorite rack is the big non-typical rack but i have always 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 wanted a great one whether it was a whitetail or a moose that or even a red deer i guess that had a rack that was uneven i really really wanted one of those specifically because i love the more unusual ones and especially with great one whitetail i really really tried to get an uneven one i thought that they were just really cool looking and I've only seen maybe one or two of these completely mismatched racks posted for Great One Moose. So when I spotted it, and it's this rack, you know, to have half of the big typical and half of the big non-typical rack. I just, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. That is the coolest looking thing. I couldn't ask for the, a cooler looking Great One Moose. I mean, wow. Just look at him. Just look at him. On Medved, where I started this grind, and where most of my grind has taken place, because I've jumped between different maps, I have tried all kinds of different things, just trying restarting my grind. I even ended up at one point, because to start off with, my first half of the grind was on my old save, and then because I got so burnt out during that grind, I, I ended up starting a new save over, and levelling myself back up to level 60, and, you know, tried taking a break and just redoing things like that and playing the game a bit of a different way came back to the grind on the new account still never caught the great one moose and then today i just had this random hey go shoot some moose feeling just maybe something will happen and it did and i can't fathom it i cannot get over it and like i said i'm really sorry if i ramble throughout this video it's quite a long video and I just, I can't wait to share this and actually be able to share this footage that I've been waiting for so long to actually finally share. Because the Great One Moose, they are the coolest looking Great One to me. I think they are absolutely fantastic. This has been the Great One that has made me work the absolute hardest for it. And my gosh, I just can't, I can't, I can't believe it. I still feel like I'm dreaming or something. There's no way that this finally spawned and it is this cool to have a half and half rack. I just can't believe he's got a mismatched rack. That's just such a cool thing to me. The only thing that makes it look slightly odd is the fact that the big non-typical rack is like a dark brown colour and the big typical rack is like a light, sort of a light brown colour. But even still that is so cool and it it because of the size because it's the big typical paddle and the big non-typical rack it makes me think of like a moose that just a really really big typical awesome moose that's damaged his antler when it was growing or something and it's just caused it to go wild you see things like that happen in real life where a deer will have one antler that looks pretty normal and one antler that's just crazy non-typical because it's been damaged and that's just what this makes me think of and it's just so cool and and him being the fabled oak fur type is so beautiful i mean goodness i just couldn't stop staring at this guy i he's amazing he's so so cool and like i said i really really like the mismatch racks i think that they add some more character and some more uniqueness to a great one i know a lot of people would probably prefer a an even looking great one but to me this is just so cool because he is so unique and so wild i i can't believe it i can't believe it's finally happened so much work and so much time has gone into getting this great one when he when the great one first released um the great one moose I was doing 12 hour days grinding for the great one. I would literally get up, start grinding, grind throughout the day and just grind moose for 12 hours. And I did that for about a month and a half, still didn't end up getting the great one. And then I just carried on, you know, like I said, I ended up stopping and starting again. And then just today on the second run, literally the start of the second run, he shows up. It doesn't feel real. I mean, he's just absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, can we talk about how cool both sides of the rack look? You've got the big typical paddle with those curling tines. It just looks amazing. And then that big non-typical side. My gosh, what a creature. So at this point, I decided to get up and run towards him to try and uh, get some closer pictures before he actually ended up spooking. Yeah, he went aggressive. 
this was something I swore that I would do if I ever got a Great One Moose to spawn, was to get it to go aggressive. I didn't think it would happen on my first encounter with him. Look at how perfectly he walks towards me with his head down. I got a picture there of him with his head down that I'm so happy with. I mean, my gosh. That was just so cool. I'm actually still shaking here recording it. I can feel myself shaking. He's absolutely just everything I could have ever, ever dreamed of. And it's, like I said, it's been a really, really intense grind. I thought Black Bear grind was pretty intense. The Black Bear grind was my longest grind previously. This is my longest grind now by far for anything I've I've done in-game. And it was all worth it. It was all worth it. All of those days of just him not showing up, it was just all worth it. I, watching this footage back and doing this narration, I can't believe it. And I keep saying that and I know I must sound really silly, but it means a lot to me. I've tried really, really hard. I take this game quite seriously and you know i like to try and collect all the different different animals and the different variations and stuff and the great ones for me are something that they're so special and they're so important to me i take them very very seriously and being able to get one every time that i have been fortunate enough to get one has been an incredibly special experience an incredibly special experience and this is absolutely no different at all and just because it's been such a long grind, I just, it's, it, it makes it even more special. And that's the thing. The more work that goes into a grind like this, when you finally end up getting the reward at the end, if you finally get the animal you are after, it's such an incredible feeling. And that is what makes me come back to this game. And that's what's made me keep going back to this grind. Even though I have ta taken breaks from it and stuff you know and tried doing other things along the way because of getting burnt out because of the grind being so tough this is what why i kept coming back to it and that's why today i had that urge to go and shoot moose because you never know when one of these things is going to show up and when they do show up it's like no feeling on earth it's really incredible and i know it's a video game and there's probably going to be plenty of people who see this and think okay it's just a game calm down but it's it's really important and it really means a lot to me and i can't really express enough how much this means to me this this game means a lot to me i've spent a lot of time playing this game and you know trying to get as many different things in this game as possible and just loving this game and finally getting this great one after such a long time it, this is what the game's about for me finally getting that that reward after such a long period of hard work i wouldn't have it any other way yeah it's really cool if you can get a great one really early on and i've been lucky enough to have grinds where i've gotten a great one fairly quickly in fact a couple of times i've had grinds where i've gotten great ones fairly quickly and they're, they're still crazy cool experiences but something about you know, just thinking I was never, ever, ever, ever going to see one of these absolutely magnificent creatures, ever. And then finally today, he just shows up out of the blue. Just on, like, not for him to show up when I'm, you know, really intensely grinding. I was literally just going to shoot maybe a hundred moose or so, and then I was going to go and do something else. And I was just going to slowly but surely work on a moose grind oh. in the background, but not really going for it too intensely this time, just so that I didn't get burnt out. And then he just shows up. Like, I honestly, I don't know what to do now. I, I was planning on spending some time over the coming weeks and, uh, well, yeah, the coming weeks as we lead up to probably the, uh, I would imagine teasers and stuff for a new map as it is getting close to that time of year and you know eventually we will hopefully be seeing a new map normally we see a new map sort of midway through the year and i was thinking as we lead up to that i'll just keep shooting moose and maybe eventually i'll get lucky and it happens on the first day of doing that again it's just absolutely crazy i mean look at the size of him compared to the level four in that herd he just sticks out like a sore thumb. The sheer size and just amazing look of this incredible, majestic beast. 
I am just blown away. They did such a good job with the Great One Moose. I really, really love everything that they did with the Great One Moose. I couldn't be more happy. I think they look absolutely amazing. Honestly, this makes me want to try and go for a second one. And I know that that probably sounds crazy if you've uh, followed along the story of my Great One Moose grind and the, the struggle that it has actually been. And just so much, so much has gone into this that, you know, but it's just the feeling of just finally getting one. It makes you want to go for another one straight away. And I think that I probably will just continue to sort of more relaxed, just shoot moose and see what happens. Because, you know, maybe another one does pop up. I don't think I'll intensely grind. Like I was saying, I, I wasn't intending to go back to 12 hour a day grinding or anything. I was just planning on shooting a, a maybe a hundred moose a day and just see where it went. And yeah, seeing as he showed up today, I guess I can continue to do that. But <laughs> honestly, it doesn't matter to me now what happens. I I honestly couldn't be happier. This is this is just beyond beyond anything I could have asked for. I'm so incredibly grateful. And whatever voice that was in my head that said go and grind moose today, go and shoot some moose. Yeah, I think that was a that was a very good decision. Ah, oh, man, I can't believe it. He's so beautiful. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking animal. And the moose are just so cool. And I just couldn't... I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. He is absolutely gorgeous. And I got some footage that I'm so happy with. To get the footage of him actually going aggressive... That was something I really wanted to do and I've managed to do it and I'm just so ecstatic and I cannot wait to actually share this footage in this video and actually be able to share it with you all because yeah, I appreciate the support that I've had from all of you throughout this, this grind. Every single one of you who's, you know, told me to keep going and been really, really supportive. It's all massively appreciated. Every every little bit of support that you guys give is hugely important to me and hugely, hugely appreciated. So yeah, I am just ecstatic and I cannot wait to actually share this with you all. And yeah, this is just such a big deal for me. Such a big deal. Now, finally, I did calm down enough to think about actually taking a shot. Now, I said a little while ago at this point that if I did get a great one moose to spawn, that I would take him with the 10 gauge slugs. And I stuck to that today. As soon as I saw him, I thought, right, time to break out the shotgun. But I had to give myself some time to calm down and take pictures and footage of him. Just because one, I never know if I'm gonna see another great one moose again. So take the opportunity to spend some time admiring this incredible creature. I might never see another one. And, you know, get some pictures and some footage and stuff for, for the memories. And, you know, this is my reward. I don't didn't want it to end too quickly. I've spent so long waiting. And I gave him a call there and I saw my opportunity and I thought, right, this is where I'm going to shoot him. So I stand up to make him go alert, get my shot lined up and I take the shot. And it's a heart shot and he runs just a couple of meters in front of me and he drops absolutely smoked him that is exactly what i wanted to happen if i ever got a great one to spawn that was the shot i really wanted i really wanted a heart shot and there we have it a great one moose fabled oak 684.94 kilos what a beast normal max weight is 620 He's huge! Only 226.92 on the score, but I think it's a pretty widely known fact now that the Great One Moose do not score very high regardless of what rack they have. But that score does not matter to me at all. Nothing matters except the fact that I have this absolutely incredible trophy, finally, and I couldn't be happy. I just couldn't be happier. That went literally down to a T what I wanted to happen if I ever got a great one spawn. From everything from the seeing him and just absolutely losing my mind to, you know, actually getting to shoot him with the shotgun, getting him to go aggressive, getting all the pictures and everything that I wanted. Just 
marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. There's no words, no words for it. And I say there's no words for it like I haven't rambled throughout this entire video. And uh, like I said, again, I apologise for that. I'm, I always try to record these videos super quick after they actually happen because I, I want the excitement and the adrenaline and everything still to be in my system uh, from actually shooting it because I, I don't have the ability to do live recordings at the moment. So this is as close to live as I can possibly get. This has just pretty much just happened. Wow. Just wow. And what a beautiful fur type, that sort of golden brown colour with the dark neck and then the sort of lighter patch on the front of the front of the face and the blue eyes. He is absolutely gorgeous. The fur type works so well with this rat combination, I feel. And like I said, it really just does give me that vibe of a really, really big bull moose that's just really messed up his one antler and it's gone absolutely crazy. And like I said, you can actually see th sort of things like this with any deer species if they mess up an antler and it just ends up going crazy, especially if they damage them in velvet. You can see some really wild things happening. And obviously this is taking it to an extreme, but that's the point of a great one, right? It's meant to be this extreme, rare, fabled creature. This is not supposed to be your everyday moose. This is meant to be a creature of legend, of fable. And I think this incredible incredible animal lives up to that one of my coolest moments ever in gaming and i've said that i think pretty much with every great one but there's something about the great ones in this game and how cool they they really are when you just end up encountering them like that that is it's just such an exciting feeling it really is they're just so wild and so out there that you know it's absolutely just magnificent really really cool and yeah that shot pretty much exactly what i wanted little bit risky i realized after because you know there is the ability to go uh, above the heart and between the lungs thankfully at that angle i'm pretty sure i would have got a lung either way if i had missed the heart but to get a heart shot and have him run in front of me like he did and then actually collapse that was more perfect than i could have asked for that's I honestly can't believe that that's how it ended up happening. I'm just absolutely amazed. <laughs> I'm absolutely thrilled. The spikes on that on that non-typical rack are insane. Just like huge, huge like times that are just absolutely crazy. It's just such a cool looking combo, I think. And like I said, I haven't seen many Great One Moose that have had two different racks i've seen it more with whitetail and i've seen you know a lot of great one whitetail posted so it could be that you know it's just because the moose are newer so there's been less posted than the whitetail but i think i i've only seen one or two examples maximum of the great one moose having two different antlers and i am absolutely thrilled that i actually caught one that's got two different antlers i really really like that i love the unique ones i say that with all the trophies if i end up getting something a little bit unique with you know wonky antlers or something i always find that that's a really cool thing and so to finally have that happen on a great one that's just beyond cool to me and this is my 11th great one and it's a great one moose and i'm just just so happy i am so 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 happy i feel like this has been something that's been on my mind wanting to get a great one moose ever since they released and even when i've been taking a break you know it's something i've been constantly thinking about so it's been you know a really long period of time where i've just been so desperate to end up getting one of these guys and you know whether it's been grinding so hard in single player or checking multiplayers hoping that i might get lucky enough to to spot one on a random multiplayer it's been a lot of work and just yeah like i said just a lot has gone into this grind a a lot of work and a lot of effort and it's finally all paid off and yeah with just the most incredible incredible trophy honestly probably one of my favorite trophies ever uh, that i've ever shot in any hunting game that it really is up there I've, I've had some really awesome ones and i find it really hard to pick a, just a definite favorite but this one is definitely definitely up there it's just so magnificent 
I, I can't. I can't get over it. I can't. He's absolutely amazing. And of course, I claimed him as quickly as possible and taxed him as quick as possible once I realised I hadn't hit tax, just in case the game was going to crash or anything. But thankfully, we avoided any crashes or anything, so that was really good. So now all that's left to do is put him in my trophy lodge. Now, you're going to notice my trophy lodge is looking a little bit on the empty side. That's because one of the last things I was actually doing in my trophy lodge was rearranging everything. And I haven't actually put a lot of stuff back up. I have my great ones in the back room that you might see in the background. I have like my triple great one whitetail huddle. And you know, I have some of my favourite trophies back out on display. But I haven't actually fleshed the lodge out fully yet. And I had to put this guy in pride of place. And I really like this position with the, the head down because it reminds me of when he actually came at me aggressive and put his head down so i really like this this pose i think it it pretty much captures everything about the great one experience because that's it's more than just a trophy it's an experience it the whole moment from spawning him actually realizing that yes it's not just a, you know a really wonky level four or a big level five or something that actually is the great one because that happens so many times during a grind like this for me. I'll see like a level 5 in the reeds or a level 4 from like a weird angle and it's really wonky. And you, your heart just jumps for a minute thinking, oh my gosh, is that a great one? And then it's always the, oh, okay, not this time, not a great one. But when you actually see one and then it's like, oh my god, that actually really is a great one. There's just no feeling like it. I'm so incredibly happy i really really am absolutely ecstatic and yeah i will try and get this video out as quickly as possible i know i've shared um about him showing up everywhere because i couldn't resist because i was just just so incredibly happy but yeah he's now in my trophy lodge and yeah quickly backed up my save immediately Ah, uh, this trophy is, yeah, it's really up there. I'm, yeah, I'm super, super, super happy. And again, I really am sorry for tripping over my words and rambling throughout this video. I'm really sorry if it's been annoying. But hopefully the excitement has come across as best as possible. Because, yeah, that is my great one moose. Finally, after all this time and all this work, my great one moose. And he just looks amazing. No matter where you look at him from, every angle, every pos every side, every position, it just it looks absolutely amazing. But that is going to be it for this video. A bit of a longer one and uh, I hope that was okay. And like I said, again, apologies for the rambling. But I'm just absolutely beyond, beyond thrilled. And once again, thank you to everyone for your support. It's been really really amazing and you guys are absolutely fantastic and yeah i can't wait to share this with you all so thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always and i will see you in the next video thank you